Forest gardens are very diverse systems in terms of the plants you put in and they become very diverse systems in terms of the wildlife as well. Research so far shows that things like uh, uh, insect and invertebrate diversity is much higher in forest gardens than in native woodlands. And forest gardens often have a lot of non-native plants in them. So it's not a question of native is always best for wildlife, that's simply untrue. Uh, it's the question of diversity, how diverse your system is. We have a long history in, in Britain and Europe of um, classifying plants down into uh, ornamentals, edibles, medicinals, and, and, and those tend to be kept all very separate. In the plant world, life is not like that, and in many other cultures, plants are not treated in that way. So, for example, the, uh, the little hutunia plant growing by the pond here, which is a fantastic edible spice, is also a medicinal plant. It's one of the main Chinese medicinal plants. There's many vegetables as well, perennial vegetables, that are treated as ornamentals, certainly in Britain and Europe, but in other parts of the world, they are big and commercial perennial vegetables. Uh, so we have limited our, our, our outlook to a degree by, by taking this compartmentalized view of plants. And I think uh, uh, gradually we, we need to change that. concept of the rational harvestable food forest, so specializing upon certain crops within the food forest concept and taking care of the ecology enough, uh, is convincing the first farmers already. So we have rows of one species, but still it is a polyculture and still it's tens of different uh, edible species. If the uh, cider apples are ripe, the trees are just in a row and you can pick them walking the row. There is a lot of money going on in modern farming, but it's not going to the farmers themselves that much. They work very hard, but they have to pay the bank, they have to pay the chemical industry. A food forest is totally different. We don't have those high costs. We produce food more and more during the growth of the system. And we, in our relatively young food forest, earn already 3,000 euros per hectare per year, which is eight, nine times as much as the neighboring farms. Montado is a cultural landscape. A cultural landscape, it's when um, uh, a landscape or the, the result of the interaction of man and, and nature uh, shaped us. We must be part of the nature, making useful things for nature, being an element of nature. And then we can take with happiness our part, like the birds, take their part, like the bacteria use their part. Mm -hmm.